actively encourage students with disabilities to pursue computing. I'm Cheryl Bergstaller. I work for the Central IT Unit at the University of Washington in Seattle, where we employ hundreds of people into IT positions. And we're always recruiting for the brightest and the best. To meet our demand, as well as those from other organizations across the country, we need to recruit more students into computing fields of study. Women and racial ethnic minorities are often typically included in recruitment efforts. But what about people with disabilities? Teachers can play an important role in encouraging this underrepresented group to study computing. But how can we encourage students with disabilities to pursue computing? Here is one story. Meet Cindy. My name is Cindy Bennett, and I am a first-year PhD student in the Human-Centered Design and Engineering Department at the University of Washington. I became interested in a career in Human-Centered Design and Engineering because I worked as a research assistant in the Computer Science Department at the University of Washington for two years. I was hired because I have a psychology background and experience managing research projects so I brought a social science view to the computer science research we were doing. And I realized that I could combine my love for technology with my social science training. And essentially, that's what human-centered design is all about. I have learned that I can have an impact and improve the access blind people have to technology. As I have become more connected in the blind community, I have met more blind people who are pursuing science, and I have learned that we can and we should pursue science careers when we want them. To learn more about how you can encourage students with disabilities to pursue computing fields, engage with the Access CS 10K project, find resources at uw.edu slash accesscomputing slash accesscs 10K. Access CS 10K is supported by the National Science Foundation under grant number CNS 1440843. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation. Copyright 2015.